Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Welcome if you're new. It's your gender bender prophet Jess coming at you with a daily energetic reading for the day of November 5th in 2019. I am using the Fairy Tarot by Doreen Birch and Lonnie Valentine. And if you would like to support the channel, like, share, subscribe. If you like these videos, you can also look down below in the information box for instructions, descriptions, and pricings for personal services, either a personal card reading or a very psychic Reiki healing session, which is a little more intimate and more direct. And you can join me on Facebook and Instagram. Links will also be down below. And you can also join me on Patreon for a monthly subscription in exchange for personal services at a discounted rate throughout the month. Justice. Today we are seeing a reflection of where our true core alignment energies lie. We are seeing the manifestations of um, not what we have been intellectually trying to apply and bring in, but how we truly feel, what we are truly bringing in for ourselves. So this is a time to really take a look at what we've co-created and what we've allowed into our lives. And by the end of it, take some time to reflect. You know, where what felt good? What can I amplify? What felt not so good? Where can I tweak? And if you're getting a not so good reflection, the best way to tweak is to not react. Because 10 bucks says you're going to react in the same pattern that allowed that sort of co-creation in the first place. All right. So if it's a negative, do your best to back paddle enough to a neutral state. That is hard work, my friends. Very hard work. Power to you. And if you're receiving a little bit of goodness, turn that shit up. Dream big. The number eight is the original I am source on top of itself. And I love the number 18 because that wouldn't be able to happen without that masculine force, you know, overlaid on top of each other. I actually want a tattoo of that. <laughs> like eight with a one down the middle. Mm. And so this is, um, mm. is there anything else to be said about this? Yeah, recognize yourself as the judge, the jury, the defendant, and the, uh, what's, what's, what's the other one, the defendant, and the accused, you know what I'm saying, um, because we are all one, we are all one, whew, so that's that we are all one and we are creating and we are seeing some creations, as I said. So, I mean, this says take the time to review the details carefully. Review the details of the law of attraction carefully. You will win in the end fair and objective decisions. I'll say this. You will win if you are self-aware. You will win if you do not skirt aside responsibility of emotions because our emotions is how we are created under goddess's image, the original poof, the birther of the father. Okay? We are creative. Our emotions cannot help but create. Consciousness itself carries a lot of emotions. All right? And then comes the need to explore and create on top of that which makes structure, okay? The masculine would not be able to create with structure without the feminine force having first realizing itself. And that's a heavy energetic overlay of what is happening here. Realization of the self, exploring your emotions, seeing the foundation of said emotions as the, 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 the layout the stage off of which your structure is built. So take a look. There's no escaping the karma today, my friends. Mm -mm. And it's always working in your favor because we are always going forward in a spiral, looping around. And we have the free will, the choice to change direction of where that is pointed. Along with the natural chaos of the feminine surrounding that choice. So what does the divine feminine, the chaos, the co-creation, behind the scenes manipulation 
have to show you about your choice of direction. Take care. Rock on. I love you for loving yourself. You know where to find me.